this is going to be really weird to say, but what happened to Asa, the way she got rear-ended, is probably the second best worst scenario that could have happened, I guess. <laughs> channel welcome back to the vlog if you're new to the channel my name is Kyle I make videos about my car and my life and stuff and my friends who also have cool cars and lives and stuff now the last time we spoke the WRX got rear-ended and we had to do the whole crash beam replacement and all that so the WRX is back now but I got a couple things going on so I can't make like a full separate video um, so this is kind of an update and I wanted to explain how much it costs to fix a rear-ended WRX. Now the prices may vary, but I'm giving you the closest ballpark estimate, I guess, because you know, things like paint code and and what parts you have and how bad the damage is, all of that affects the cost. But that being said, um, also here, look, look at, that's Bo, that's my nephew. Anyway, there's like various things that affect the cost uh, of the repair, but if you ever get re-rendered or if you want to ever replace your bumper or repaint it I can give you an estimate of how much everything would cost This is just to answer a few questions that I've been getting about like bro is your car good now? Like how's the bumper etc etc which I suggest you follow me on Instagram because that's where I give updates on This kind of thing. So let's go outside. Let's check out the car now even though she's really dirty, but let's go check her out Now the last time you saw Asa she didn't have a rear bumper she was bare bones, crash beam, uh, no mud flaps, and the F1 light was in the trunk. Look at her now. E excuse the dirtiness, but oh my god, look at that. She's back, boys. No diffuser, though. But she's back. Last time you saw this bumper, it was actually in the minivan, unpainted. So I think it comes in like black, like a matte black whatever finish not primed not painted so i want to give a shout out to steinway auto body for fixing this bumper getting it nice and painted in like a day and a half they had it back on the car now when the body shop reinstalled the light there were no instructions that came with it and i mean we even had issues installing it in the first place like the first time so they literally just took the bracket and like shoved it back and, and this didn't line up correctly because you're supposed to run it through the front and then like sandwich the bracket together and then put the pins in so they didn't do that right but i don't blame them because i like we didn't even do that right the first time got that fixed that day i put the, the mud flaps back on but the camera died so this was such a pain because they used like these impossibly hard to get out clips yeah it took me way longer than i thought it would finally got that back in and yeah it works great again it's it's i i didn't bother putting the pins in so this time i use zip ties uh, it seems to do the job, so I'm not I'm not gonna touch that. It stays. If I need to take it out, I can take it out. If I need to get retinted, etc., etc., that's fine. So the bumper didn't come with this, so this might be a little bit of an off color because I took this off the original bumper, and I didn't take it to get painted with the bumper because I left it in the van, and then I had work. So this uh, this piece is slightly off color, but with a little bit of buffing. Uh, I think I think I can get it to match or I'll just get a tow hook who knows missing a diffuser because this is a completely new bumper No holes no Swiss cheese under there So I think what I got to do is just got to get a new diffuser and I have some ideas So I got something in the works. Don't worry All right, that's that's good few things to consider when if you ever get re rented Which I hope you don't or if you have some damage on your bumper things you have to consider before you do anything first Do you have to replace the bumper or is it? Something that the body shop can pop out uh, with like heat and all that and then just repaint over maybe some Bondo. You have to consider that. If you don't have to replace your bumper, that's money safe because a brand new bumper from Subaru, unpainted OEM, like without the little cover, which I, I think that they should just include it and they, they might as well. But a, a brand new unpainted unmounted bumper costs $280 like retail plus tax. So it'll be um, being like 290 to $300, depending on which dealership you go to. Next, if the bumper, if only the bumper has damage, you're good. You just get it to take it to the body shop. You get it repainted. I'll get into paint later. I think if they don't have to repaint the whole bumper, you're ranging from like 350 to $500, depending on how much paint they have to use, what your color code is, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, now in my case, my bumper had a hole in it. It was dented, it was scraped. I was like, man, 
there's no way the body shop's gonna fix this because a bumper is actually like plastic and rubber or composite something. It's not really something that they could fix, especially a hole like that. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of the old bumper completely. So new bumper ordered. Shout out to Jay, Exodus JDM for uh, helping me get a new bumper. He's a Subaru tech and he really helped me out through this whole process. So I got that new bumper, but I had no idea what the extent of the damage was other than the bumper. I got hit pretty hard, so I needed to make sure that the crash beam was okay. So when we pulled the bumper off, as you saw in the last video, we saw that there was in fact impact on the crash beam. And it wasn't like a little ding, it was like a straight up dent. It was the same diameter as a license plate relocation bar and it just sent it right into the, the crash beam and it, it made a dent. And once we took the crash beam off, um, it was actually holding tension because of that dent and the crash beam kind of went from like this shape to this shape I don't know if that makes sense. So the crash beam is like this. This is the back of the car crash beam is like this um, And it got dented like that So when we took off all the bolts I was holding it it kind of bowed out because it was holding the tension So even that wasn't gonna fit right so I need to get a new crash beam new crash beam There's several options you can go OEM or you can go like beat rush which is like reinforced a little bit lighter Yada yada yada. The OEM one retails for 220. That's what the body shop told me. When I went to the body shop, I was like, hey, just in case I need to order one, how much is it listed for? So got a new crash beam. Now we have a brand new unpainted bumper. Already you're looking at 200, 480, like $500 for, for both of those things combined. Not painted, labor not included. Also, real quick, I'm gonna start my car because I gotta, I gotta be somewhere. We're gonna warm it up. And uh, yeah. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I guess while the car warms up, I can do a little walk around, I guess, or something. Where was I? Now you have a new unpainted bumper. The crash beam is under it, and you have a new crash beam. You spent about $500 so far. You gotta get this painted. So, what I did was I went to the body shop and I said, hey, please, please paint this bumper. Um, it's brand new, so, you know, you gotta prime it and paint it. After calling a few shops, did you, did you do that? Did you, did you do that? You tell me right now, did you do that? Bo, you sit down, you sit down right now. Did you, did you do that? I leave. For five minutes, I just wanted to talk to the people. Bovi, get, get down, get. I can't believe you've done this. Come on, man. Come on. I can't just talk to you guys. It's because I wouldn't give you Popeyes, right? Yeah, I bet it was. I mean, take a seat. I called a few places and I talked to a few people in the Subaru world and they were like you know you have the most expensive color code so that's a huge thing you have to consider um, I have a crystal white pearl 2018 WRX so the color code is like K1X or something and apparently that is the most expensive Subaru paint because it's a three it's a three stage paint they have to put the white then the sparkle then the clear it's a it's a lot it's a lot um, so that really drives up the cost plus labor Etc. Etc. Long story short, for a brand new unpainted bumper to turn into a brand new painted bumper, it cost me seven hundred and twenty-three dollars and like eighty-seven cents or something. That's without install uh, or anything. And luckily, John, the guy who runs the body shop, has dealt with Asa enough to be like, all right, we don't charge you for install and all that. But it did cost that much to paint the bumper, separate from the other cost of everything. Yeah, um, and it, it probably would have cost a lot more if I took Asa to the body shop right after she got re-rented without doing all the work that I did with the, in the previous video, which was taking the mud flaps off, swapping the wheels, taking the brake light out, taking the bumper off, swapping the crash beam. It, it all would have added up. So I think if you just take your car to the body shop and be like, I need a new bumper, I need a new, I need new paint, I need all of this labor. It's gonna cost you about like $1,500 to $1,500 and $1,900, depending on like the labor and what's involved and how bad the crash is, honestly. This is gonna be really weird to say, but what happened to Asa, the way she got rear-ended is probably the second best worst scenario that could have happened, I guess. So the, the first best scenario is that the, she got hit in the bumper and only the bumper needed to be replaced, no frame. Uh, no crash beam damage, nothing. So that would have been just a headache, but it would have been like, get a new bumper, paint it, and just do the work yourself. And no need to replace a crash beam. But what happened to Asa was she got hit, bumper got destroyed, and she needed a new crash beam. If you have a similar incident to mine, or a, a less severe incident, 
to mine, then it's gonna cost you about $1,500 to fix the bumper. If it's any worse, if you have like trunk damage or anything like that, it's gonna cost you like two, three thousand dollars But all in all, to get that, to get Asa back to that state, even without the diffuser, cost me or cost $1,100 to $1,200. And that's with knowing the guy at the body shop who like hooked it up with the price. That's with knowing Jay who helped me get a new bumper for the best price. $1,100 to $1,200. On top of that, there's also the time you have to spend because I don't know if I'm gonna overlay the videos now or if I'm gonna put the videos before. <laughs> After I got Asa back, I didn't want to drive her yet because she didn't have the mud flaps on and she didn't have the F1 light brake light installed correctly. So I had to spend like four hours doing that. And don't worry, the mud flaps didn't take me five hours like before. Remember that, Anthony, if you're watching this? The mud flaps didn't take me that long by myself, actually. So with $1,200 and like five hours, 10 hours of your time, you can get a rear ended WRX with like mild mild rear end I would say uh, mild rear end damage back to the 100% state with like help of some friends and like a, a day off you know so yeah I think that's uh that this video it's Friday tomorrow's Saturday I'll get the car cleaned up and I think we have something to do for the car actually so yeah I will catch you guys on the next video but I'll be filming tomorrow but I'll catch you guys whenever I upload the next video thank you for watching I appreciate all the support and concern Peace. If I gotta die, I'm going like the greats. I don't plan it, but I live like it's today. Pop a quarter off a quarter and I'm straight. Problem. She got stab me, but she came here anyway. Problem. If I gotta die, I'm going like the greats. I don't plan it, but I live like it's today. Pop a quarter off a quarter and I'm straight. Problem. She got stab me, but she came here.